What's going on YouTube? Ferocity here. Hope you guys are doing well. X Defiant recently released the patch notes for today's brand new patch. And let's go through this thing because this is one of the most monumental patches we've had in a long time for X Defiant. Some great new changes are coming to the game. And honestly, this is exactly what the game needed. So let's jump right into the first part of these patch notes. Daily challenges now can directly level up the battle pass, earning up to an entire battle pass tier if players complete hard challenges. I love this change. Your own personal progress matters very little in this game. Battle pass progression, however, matters a lot. And some will say that the battle pass progression is already a little slow. This should directly correlate to the battle pass progression not seeming as much of a grind, a little bit less daunting. Fantastic. Players now receive notifications for destroying specific enemy abilities, such as spider bots, scrap turrets, and mag berries. Previously, it was just enemy equipment destroyed, so I'm assuming now it'll say spider bot destroyed or scrap turret destroyed. Previously, players could negate the sway penalty for spamming the crouch button if they held their breath in the game, not in real life, while aiming, set, aiming down the sight. But now, that has been fixed. I personally haven't come across this too much. I think this is more of a, I play the game a lot and this is something that I've seen problem, but I'm glad it's been fixed. Because once it kind of leaks out to the masses, everybody takes advantage of it. And before you know it, everybody's doing it. So I'm glad they changed this. Mantling ledges was inconsistently successful when the auto grab ledge option was enabled in settings. Now you can mantle with confidence. So what was happening prior to this was that mantling objects wasn't happening as consistently as you'd like. Now that's going to change. And lastly, when transitioning from sprinting to shooting, weapons now shoot only if the player is holding the fire button at the end of the transition. Before, tapping the fire button while sprinting caused the weapon to shoot at the end of the sprint shoot transition, giving the impression that the weapon was firing willy-nilly. So this is more of a user error problem that has now been fixed. That's great. Anything to just make you feel like you are more in control of your character is a good thing. Now let's jump into the factions. And the last one here is exactly what the game needed. The Highwayman Scrap Turret doesn't track and shoot enemies from behind cover that is taller than the turret anymore. The GS Commando's Flash Shield now flash blinds enemies hunkered behind the Meg Barrier and AEGIS Shield. As well as it should. Those things provide damage protection, not eye protection. Dead sec. Spider bots were not making any new fans with their uncanny and unintended tendency to meld into stairs and slopes while skittering across graded surfaces, which also granted them immunity from hijacking. All of that stuff has been fixed. And lastly, the change that truly matters here. The Phantom's finer performance points have been tweaked for faction balance. Their movement speed has been reduced by 5%. The time it takes for their health to begin regenerated has increased from 4 seconds to 5 seconds, one second longer than the regeneration delay of all other factions. Their health heightening hardened trait has been reduced from 120 hit points to 115 hit points. This may seem like a very minuscule change, but I believe that it'll take steps in the right direction for mitigating the Phantom Faction being overpowered and the strongest faction in the game. Some other changes to game modes. Bomb. Players who joined a bomb match in progress were spawning on the map in a disorienting, paralyzed state instead of chilling out in spectator mode until the match started of the next round. We fixed that. And they updated the welcome playlist to ease players into Season 2 with new lists of suggested maps, modes, and an updated player level maximum of 40. That's fantastic. I love that. We need to be able to ease new players into this game. I think that is extremely important. Some very minor tweaks to both weapons and ranked play, but I'm not going to go through them here on this video. Instead, you can check them out in the full patch notes, link down below in the description. The next thing I do want to focus on, though, is the netcode. Something that emerged with the launch of Season 2 was an abundance of kill trading. 
Well, it looks like they've attempted to fix that. Reduced by half the time span in which two adversaries can score their final shots, which should reduce the instances of kill trades when two players die simultaneously. I think it can happen from time to time, but yes, it definitely was a problem at the start of Season 2. I'm hoping that that has been fixed. The one thing I will mention here is the next section under audio I have not seen anything about footsteps. It says audio fixes various, but nothing about footsteps being fixed. Because if you don't know, audio right now in X Defiance is a little weird and footsteps are next to silent. And that's not good for this game. You kind of need to know where the enemies are coming from. And not having that is a little weird. So I'm disappointed that nothing in this patch addresses that. Maybe that'll be in the next patch. Or maybe they fixed it and didn't include it in the patch notes. We'll have to find out when we actually get into the game later today. But that's mostly all that I wanted to cover from these patch notes. I actually look at this as a pretty strong update to X Defiant. We get some pretty important and major updates to some of the key factions for X Defiant. Most notably the Phantom. We get progression changes with challenges being able to affect battle pass progression. That's fantastic. We also help out brand new players with easing them into the game with suggested maps and modes as well as increasing the maximum level to 40. And lastly, they address kill trading. All of this to me alone, just those four things, makes this patch a huge W. I'm so happy to see the progression from where X Defiant was around season one's launch to where it is today the game is taking positive steps forward and they need to be commended for that so as i finish off this video today i'd love to hear from you and your thoughts regarding the new patch that is coming into x defiant do you think these are good changes or do you think these changes won't really affect much moving forward would love to hear your thoughts down below in that comment section but if you're lucky enough to have already played this patch before you watch this video I'd love to hear your thoughts pertaining to the changes to the game. Are kill trades down? Did the Phantoms feel a little bit more balanced? Are you a newer player? Do you like some of the changes they've made there? And lastly, do you like the new progression change with the Battle Pass? Those are all things I'd love to hear from you down below in that comment section. And as always, guys, I appreciate so much for you coming by and watching these videos, liking them, subscribing to the channel as a result of them. All this support is massive for me, and it just motivates me to continue making these videos. And I love talking about this game, and I'm going to continue to do it. Seems to be a pretty positive time within this community, as we've kind of shielded ourselves off from some of those dying comments that we've been hearing for so long. X Defiant is in a strong state, and I think that we need to reflect that with our support right now. But that's it for the video today. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.